I don't tend to listen to music as background music because there's something about it that like either gonna listen to it or you're not. I was born in Chile, in Santiago, in 1960. And uh, my parents were both professional musicians. My father, at the time, was the principal violist of the Chilean Chamber Orchestra, of the Universidad Católica. And my mother uh, was a pianist. So, you know, we had a very strong musical uh, background at home. As part of my work, I have to listen to some of the music that I played, will be playing, have to learn, uh, have to study in some ways. So, but that's not just listening to music. As musicians, we never feel like we've stopped learning. You know, even a piece that you've played 50 times, 100 times, there's always something new to discover. There's always something interesting that you never saw before. Uh, there's, as your experiences change, your interpretations, your opinions change, your taste evolves. You know, the, the way people consume art and music and culture in general is evolving really quickly. And we see this with, you know, um, the way popular music is distributed, the way it's presented, the way it's, you know. We see this as a, as a great education for us, and it's a great way for us to keep what we do relevant with the audiences of the future. There is a tremendous appetite for what we do, but not necessarily presented in a very traditional format. Because Curtis is full of really highly talented young people, it's really interesting to see how they become very engaged as advocates for what they want to become eventually. And they're great spokes persons for, for what they do. I mean, who better? Mm -hmm. 